Yeah, so far in the season, it's it's kind of been uh, obviously disappointing. We we were hoping to have a few more results, but we've dealt with a lot of injuries, uh, a lot of roster fluctuation, and so you know, some games we've had 15 guys uh, to dress for that game, and so I think we've been putting the guys lately in a position to be a little bit more successful and get results, and we've started to see some major improvements from the guys and how we're playing soccer. <laughs> Yeah, so the last game we, we definitely played at some of our best soccer, and I think the biggest thing was we just started having an attack. Uh, we've been averaging like five shots a game, and this past game having 15 shots was definitely a, uh, a positive for us, especially against a good opponent like Dort. And so we're hoping we can just kind of build on that the rest of the season, keep generating scoring opportunities, and start putting some of them in the back of the net. Yeah, so some of the, the new guys definitely have added a lot to the team. Uh, Obviously, the most notable is Yoshi um, and his his production on the field, uh, and he's been battling injuries as well. So we'd love to get him up to 100%, so he could actually see what he could bring 100% to the table. But yeah, I think you know uh, we expected Yoshi to be a, a quick and creative player on the left side of the field, and um, so and it was exciting to see how him and, and Danny Class were able to have such great chemistry right away. And again, Danny's fighting some injuries as well, so we're hoping we can get him back um, as the season progresses and get back to how they were working with each other, getting up the field. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely some guys that have really stepped up. Uh, you know, Derek Brenner has start, has done a huge part, too, in playing the ball into Yoshi. Uh, he's done a great job um, helping us get the ball out to him and, and get him into positions where he is the threat. So, yeah, some of the new guys definitely have been... Uh, uh, so nice to see them step up and do some good things, but again, we got to see the finishing product. We got to see balls in the back of the net. Yeah, so Alex is, I mean, he's just one of those seniors. We've been telling the guys uh, stories just about, you know, how uh, you need to be a real team player and, and that kind of thing. And Alex is really taking that to heart. And, and when we started getting a lot of injuries for our attacking players, uh, we knew Alex had pace and we knew he had a great uh, shot. So we asked if he would be willing to give up the gloves and step out onto the field his senior year. Um, he's always had goals to, to be successful in between the pipes. And he was willing to give up that, that uh, objective for the time being until guys got healthy again to go up on top. And, and he's just, he's added a lot. I mean, he adds pace where we were, you know, we were lacking speed up top and he adds that. Um, plus he's got a great uh, strike. And so hopefully we're hoping that some of those will get in the back then. He got a, a brace a couple games ago, so hope we can build on that. Uh, you know, and then Gaston uh, stepping up as a freshman too, I think has been really good. I mean, obviously there's still some decision uh, decisions we'd like to clean up, and you know, but as a first campaign, it's definitely great, especially the way he's able to handle one v one situations. We've put, we've left him high and dry a couple times, and. and kind of situations where he's had to make some big saves and he's done that. He's he's come through and made the one v ones and been real big in the goal and uh, made a PK save the other day. And so I mean it's it's good to see him uh, being successful and to see that we have depth at the goalkeeper position so that we could take Alex out of the goal and, and put him on the field. Yeah, I mean we always reset goals once we start conference play. Um, but the goals never really change. You know, we wanna be successful in conference and we want to be be on the playoffs uh, to give ourselves a chance for postseason. So, but you know, some of the steps to get to those, to reach those goals, obviously had to change based on our non-conference performances. So, you know, a lot of stuff that we were talking about earlier, as far as developing an attack, finishing the attack, those types of things, we had to make different goals or different objectives for ourselves uh, so that we could have hopefully a little bit more success going through conference play. Yeah, the senior class is um, very special. I've coached a lot of them for a long time, um, either through ODP or through club soccer in high school and things like that. And so a lot of these guys I've known for a really long time. And, you know, Sterling Hubbard, you know, I knew him through ODP and stuff in North Dakota and, and those types of things. And then the Sioux Falls guys coached them in club. And then Lionel's been with us for five years as well. So it's a class that's been together for a long time. And they've got some great team chemistry, and, and they're really – putting the team first. I mean, uh, Lionel's come a long way since his freshman campaign and uh, seen some huge uh, maturity in him. And same thing with, with Alex Nelson, you know, we talked about that already. And, uh, but also just even in the weight room, I mean, you know, here was a guy that used to be 
the guy that kind of clowned around and, and had fun and only wanted to have fun, and now he's holding guys to a higher standard in the weight room that practices on the field in games. Um, it's been it's been really neat to see that, and it's a team it's a senior class that's definitely committed to the the team being successful on and off the field, um, as evidenced by the GPAs and things like that that we've seen since they've been here too. So. Um, it's a special class. It's just really neat to have the season. And the team chemistry has been great because they are such good leaders.